Hi, welcome or welcome back to this channel. In today's exercise, we would be modeling a simple screw conveyor. The whole idea is to introduce you to the coil command. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't yet done that. Also do well to like this video. It helps the YouTube algorithm push it to a lot more people. If you have any comments, questions or concerns at the end of this video, kindly leave them down in the comment section below and I would address them as soon as I can. Let's go ahead and start with today's exercise. Autodex Inventor is opened. Let's get a worksheet to begin to create the model. So control plus N like we've done so many times, or you can come up here and select new. Under part create 2D and 3D objects, we select the standard MMI PT because we want to work in millimeters, and this is more like a part file. And let's create. Let's create the shaft first. And so we pick the 2D sketch command. Let's create the sketch on the XY plane. Now let's pick the circle command. We will draw a circle from the origin. You know you are there when it turns green. So just touch or snap onto the origin. You can click and drag. The diameter of this circle is 60. You would use the dynamic input box to enter this dimension. You can press enter. Before you get off the circle command, let's draw another circle. This time of diameter 40, we would enter that as well. You can finish this sketch or press E to extrude straight away. Let me zoom in and then pan down. You zoom in by scrolling up the scroll mouse button and you pan down by holding down the scroll mouse button and then you move the mouse. Now we can extrude. We want to first of all extrude this, the 40 diameter. The extrusion should be symmetric. And the distance of that extrusion is 1,500. Let's zoom in to get our work in focus. You can change the name of the body, but most of the time you wouldn't. The profile was correctly selected. The plane also. The preview looks fine. We will click on the plus sign so we can extrude the other circle, which is going to be this one. Also, symmetrically, the only thing that changes will be the distance, which this time is going to be 1,200, and we would OK. Now, let's apply some chamfer and fill it. First of all, chamfer. The chamfer is going to be the second option, distance and angle. For the distance and angle, we have to specify the face and the edge. So the face is going to be this particular face. And the edge we want to apply the chamfer to is going to be this one. The distance, we will change that to 4 mm. And we can apply that. We'll do the same for the opposite side. So let's just turn this work around. You can hold down the shift and the scroll mouse button together and move the mouse to turn. Now we would select this face and this edge as well. The distance and the angle remains the same. We can apply now we would close this for now. Let me get the isometric view by clicking on the home icon up here. We would apply some fillets also. The fillet is 2mm, which is fine. We would apply it to this edge and the opposite side as well. We can OK. Let me get the isometric view. Next, we would create the blade with a call command. Before we use the call command, we have to create the profile we want to make into a call. So let's do that. We'll select the 2D sketch command. We want to create this sketch on the YZ plane. Now let's pick the rectangle command and draw a rectangle here. You can touch this edge right here. You know you are there when it turns green. So let's just draw using the dynamic input box. We want to specify the height of this, which is highlighted in blue black. So we can type the height in there as 180. We press the tab key and specify the width of that as 20. You can press enter and zoom in now. Let's press escape to get off that rectangle command. Now we can finish this sketch and we are ready to call. And so the call command under the create group. The profile has been correctly selected. Now the next 
thing we have to specify is the axis we want to coil around. We can use the Y axis. The preview of that looks good. The page is going to be 235. So you can go ahead and type that in. And the revolution is five. We do not want any taper. You can specify a taper if you want, but we do not. And you can also close the end or close the start, but we wouldn't do any of that. The Boolean is going to be a join and so we would OK. All right, that has been neatly done. Let's apply some fillets. And so the fillet command, we want to apply the fillet to this edge. You can rotate or turn the work around and select the other side as well. We would also select these edges and that one. Let me change the radius of this fillet to four and we can OK. All right, that is it. It's as simple as that. Let's even change some details in the view tab. So on the visual style, we can make this realistic. We can even apply some shadows also. Let's apply some reflections as well. And then I will change this to Tranquility Blue and even change the appearance to, let me do Aluminium Dark. No, I can do Chrome Polished rather. All right, I can also even apply a ground plane and there we go. So that's going to be it for today's tutorial. Very easy and simple one. This takes less than 10 minutes, I think. Please consider subscribing to this channel if you haven't yet done that. Also do well to like this video. Let's push it to a lot more people. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you can leave them down in the comment section below. I would address them as soon as I can. Don't forget to share this with your card friends. I'll see you soon in the next tutorial. Bye.